my channel how you guys are and uh, i hope you guys are doing really great in your life so i am back with a recreation today again and today's recreation is none other than jacqueline fernandez in her recent song Ginda full and i was like obsessed with her look when i saw her look for the first time in the song i was like oh my god i need to recreate this because that's a bengali look and i really like bengali looks you know i don't know but i have like a soft corner for bengali looks so i had to recreate this so i have came up with this recreation today and i hope you guys would love to see how i have recreated it i have tried my best to recreate this look as close as possible i would like to give you a disclaimer before we start uh, that i am nowhere trying to look like jacqueline fernandez it's just that i'm giving you some of the instructions and showing you how you can get the look of jacqueline fernandez with uh, the product that you have at your home now let's just get started in the uh, with the video and start the process of recreating the makeup of jacqueline fernandez Jacqueline has a very beautiful healthy looking skin in this video song so I wanted my skin to look the same so prepping is the idea behind it for that I'm using this moisturizer by Nutriderm and it gives a very beautiful healthy looking skin without making the skin look oily and the next step of prepping my skin is to spread some uh, MAC fix plus onto my face and then gonna spread it with the help of a brush I know you and then I'm taking this strobing cream by MAC. This is such a beautiful cream. My God, the price worth it. I'm applying it a little bit onto my face and then spreading it with the help of my hands. And uh, then I'm just going to color correct my uh, darkness uh, around the eyes and the area which is a little bit dark than to the usual skin tone that I have. Uh, this is like person to person. This depends on person to person. I don't know if Jacqueline had done it or not because she has a perfect skin. But I did not. So I need to make my skin uh, like that. And then I'm using this foundation uh, which is uh, L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. I'm taking... Uh, little more amount than usual because i wanted a full coverage and like flawless skin and this foundation gives perfect immense uh, full coverage as you can see and it has a yellow undertone which i like and yeah after blending it out i'm just gonna cancel out any darkness around my eyes and for that i'm using this uh, fit me uh, concealer to, uh, under my eyes and then canceling out any darkness and then blend it with a beauty blender By looking into the picture, I could not notice much of a contour going on on her face in this video song. Rather, she had lots of blush on her face. So, uh, using this hula bronzer, I am just bronzing up my face a little bit, like generous amount. And then after setting the concealer that I have applied uh, with a loose powder, and this one is by Fit Me. And then I'm moving on to the blush. And for that, I'm using this Maybelline uh, Color Show blush. And this blush is so good, and the color would be so perfect to what she was wearing and i'm applying it in an upward direction because she had in this kind of if you, if you see the picture closely she had a blush sort of contour going on and i'm also applying it to the nose because i like it and if we see her brows it's like the shape of her brows is uh, almost similar like mine it's just that my brows are a little longer so i'm just gonna fill up my uh, brows in the sparse area in my normal shape like my usual shape as you can see and that would be pretty much it and then to lighten the color and to set the brows i'm using this uh, brow gel by essence and this one is really good and, and then to lock the base i'm using this mac fix plus and also patting it using the beauty blender so that if there is any excess product that gets removed now it's time for the eye makeup if you see her makeup closely you will be seeing that there is a pink sort of transition going on so i'm taking this pink color from the blush palette and then applying it above my usual crease line to have the transition effect and then i'm taking this magenta color by wet n wild palette and this palette is so good you guys you can create so many looks with it anyway now taking that color and placing it to my actual crease line and deepening it a little bit as you can see 
and now i'm taking a more softer peachy color and applying it above all the colors so that there is no harsh line and then i'm taking this dark brown color and applying it uh, to my outer corner because if you see her picture closely her eye makeup she had a like dark brown sort of a color into the outer v of her eye look so to recreate that i'm taking this color and then making a v sort, sort of look and then blending the edges to make it look softer <laughs> As far as I can observe, Jacqueline had a pastel pink sort of a color onto her lid. Uh, so I'm taking these two colors from the HR palette. I'll be linking this palette down in the description box. This palette is so good, you guys, and so pigmented, especially the shimmer color. And uh, then with the help of my uh, pinky finger, I'm just going to blend these two color, the dark brown and the shimmery color together so that the transition looks really, really good. And, and then with the help of a help of the brush i'm taking that brown color more and then you know deepening up the outer corner a bit so by looking into the picture i couldn't really make out if she had some sort of color going on onto her lower lash line so depending on the eye makeup look i'm just balancing uh, the makeup by applying a little bit of brown color onto the lower lash line and then tight lining my upper lash line and also applying a little bit of uh, that kajal to the lash line as well and then using an angular brush i'm just blending it so that there is like blurry effect because in her picture i could see that blurriness going on onto the uh, upper lash line so i wanted to recreate the exact same thing and it's and it's clearly visible that she had a nude eye pencil going on to her lower lash line so i'm doing the exact same thing and for the lip color i am uh, using these nude nuance and touch of spice by maybelline and this two color would give me the perfect lip shade that she is wearing and also the texture would be same as her <laughs> And for highlighting, I'm using the Swiss Beauty Bronzing Palette and taking all three shades together in a fluffier brush and applying it more like a blush because her cheeks were like loads up with blush and also highlighting, you know, like the typical Bengali look. So I am also trying to get the exact same look. And then I am wearing this Lal Pari Shari from Bengali Culture and then wearing this choker because she's also wearing some... Uh, gold stuff and I'm also loading up myself into more jewelry and then for the hair she had a, like wavy sort of a hair but that I have kept my hair in a braid like and then I'm also wearing some bangles and the last step would be to wear a big red bindi and with that I am done with this look you guys I hope you guys liked it if you really do then be sure to subscribe to my channel give this video a very big thumbs up and I tried my best to recreate this look as close as possible and uh, please do let me know in the comment section what are your thoughts about this look and uh, how much did you like it and also tell me what you guys want to see next in my channel and I'll bring that up to you and yeah till then love yourself pamper yourself and i love you all and yeah.